You do not need to add anything artificial into your um, Indian cooking. Go to any Indian household, you will not find them, um, you know, putting anything in there that's not good for you. So the beauty about, you know, being able to cook your own Indian food is you're responsible for what goes in that pan. Now, there's no real rules in Indian cooking other than, you know, you do need to use the key spices, but actually, it, you know, quite often when in the cooking school, we've had people come in and they've said, I, don't, I really don't like coriander. Now, obviously, I don't understand why people don't like coriander, but it doesn't matter if they don't like coriander. Just leave it out. It's not going to ruin the entire dish. It is essential in Indian cooking, but if you don't like it, you don't like it. You know, you're not going to get the um, police at the door, you know, the curry police at the door saying, oh, my God, you didn't use coriander. So it really, really does not matter, okay? If you don't like it, you don't like it. However, I will say that coriander actually changes its flavour altogether once it's been spluttered into oil. So do bear that in mind, because if you don't really know what it tastes like once it's cooked, then you really probably do like coriander. Okay, so now that's cooking away. Now look how good that looks.